Hi, I'm Mary Matz from Twisted Yarns. I just love knit and crochet purses. They are such versatile accessories, but not unless you line them. In the description below, I have included links to a variety of my favorite purse designs. But in this video, we will cover how to cut the lining to fit any size purse, how to add essential features like a zipper and pockets that will make your purse both secure and convenient, and lastly, you will learn the best approach for assembling the lining and inserting it into the purse. While there is some sewing necessary to complete the project, this is not a sewing lesson. Choose a woven fabric such as broadcloth or other cotton. If the stitch pattern has open work, make sure the back side of the lining looks attractive too, as it will peek through the stitch pattern. Often, I take the purse to the store and lay it on the fabric to make sure I purchase the right amount. Always allow extra fabric for wide seam allowances, pockets, and more pockets. Small remnants are usually ample. Before you begin, pre-shrink the lining fabric and trim off the salvage edges. I like to cut my fabric in two pieces, so I'm going to arrange the purse so that the back piece is, the lining on the back piece is going to come up onto this part. So this is the right side is going to actually be on the inside so I can lay my purse like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it up just a little bit to the edge because I am going to cut it on the top part about three quarters of an inch bigger. But when I get over to the sides, I'm going to be a lot more generous because there's a little pleat on this side here. So I'm going to go about two inches larger and I'm going to come down this side. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it'll work just fine. And on the lower side, I'm going to come down about two inches. And the reason I do that is because Knitting will stretch. I have to have a seam allowance and knitting will stretch. And I've got my camera in the way, so I'm going to move this over just a little bit there. So I'm cutting this like so. Perfect. So it's a little bit longer. And then I'm going to come back up this side. And I'm just using the edge that I had before. There we go. So I have about three quarters of an inch. Now, I will finish this part off by myself. There you go. So there I have, this lines up with this edge. Now, I'm going to take my fabric. Now, if you want to be real tricky about it, you could have folded the fabric over. But I actually find that that is, makes it much more difficult to work with. So I'm going to align my edge along this edge here. And the top is a little bit narrower than the bottom, so that's okay. I could flip it over if I wanted to. I can look from this direction too. Okay, and here I'm going to fold this part over like that because that's where my zipper is going to be. And I'm going to give myself another inch and a half on this side. down here. Now see, this is going to be even because I already have the allowance here. Now, that's the last thing I'm going to sew is the bottom edge. It's the top edge that I worry about the most. Okay? So now that I have my fabric cut, I'm going to cut one more piece of fabric. And that is going to be the same width as the this width of the of the purse. So on this one I'm going to double it. So I'm going to just line up this here. I'm going to do about three quarters the length. 
because what this is going to do, I want it to be shorter than the purse because I want to make a pocket, but I want it to be double the length. And so, I want to create a double-sided pocket. So, I'm going to just... And you don't have to be perfect about it. Everybody makes this such a fuss. I have the lining of the purse that'll go in like this. I have this front part that'll go in to this part here. And then I have a doubled pocket. And what I'm going to do, there's one more thing that I have to get. And that is double-sided pellets. This is a... This is a product. You can see it, it's, a, it's a fusible fabric. It fuses. You can fuse it to a lot of things. But what I want to do is I want to have a piece that will fit between these two layers. Just, I only need one layer of pollen, so I have my piece folded in half, and I'm just going to cut this out. Amazingly. Then, I'm going to insert the pollen between the two layers, Fold this gently over, and I'm going to press these two layers together. So what I have now is a fused fabric. So now we have that nice pocket made, and that is going to be because this part of the purse is going to fold over like this, I'm going to put the pocket that way so that it will be toward uh, my body when I'm wearing this purse. And at this point, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to trim that piece. Remember, it's on a slight angle. So I'm going to trim this peach piece to match the sides. The next step is I'm going to fold this over at the top and I'm going to give it a light pressing. Now, that's about right, because that's going to be the top where the zipper goes. So I've just pressed that over a little bit, and I'm going to hem this under. And what I'm doing is I'm creating a place where the zipper is going to have a little bit of ease, so I can hand sew it in. I took pieces, a little short pieces of fabric, and I put Pellon in the middle, and I'm going to zigzag across that seam also for the length of that seam. Now just so I get my D-rings in the right place, I'm just simply going to stitch across about an inch down. And you see how big this is, and that's good. Because I have I have areas tacked on it. And, and this is a very stretchy yarn. As soon as you put some weight in it, it will stretch out. So the zipper's going to go here, and it could potentially stretch to where I'm going to put the seam on the bottom. I'm going to measure how I want to do my zipper. I want to have it go to this end here. Now, obviously, this zipper is too long, so I'm going to go a half an inch beyond the purse, and I'm going to trim it off. Now, do not unzip this, because it will fall off. I then am, I am going to go over to my sewing machine and backstitch over this at the half inch mark so that it's just the right length to go into the top of this purse. So now I'm going to align my zipper. I have this other neat little product, which is a it's a little tape just for doing zippers or for other tacking. So I'm going to flip this over and I'm going to take a piece the length of the zipper. and I'm going to put it on the edge of the zipper. Now it's a two-sided tape that washes out. I've used it before on other projects and it is just so handy. 
So I'm just going to put that along the edge and trim it. Now this side, the part that I put down is the sticky part. This has a piece of paper on it and I will peel that back in a little bit. But I'm going to do it to both sides of the zipper because I know I'm going to sew the zipper in two different places. Because I'm right handed so when I use this purse, I want to make sure my zipper is facing to this corner of the purse. You can do it the other way if you're left handed or you wear your purse differently or if it's more convenient you can make your own decisions on that. There. Now I've got it separated. And see how one part stays on? Now this side is tacky also. It's a double sided tape. So I'm going to put that in place. I'm going to center it along the side and I'm going to lay this edge right on that. Okay, so I'm going to be sewing this down next. Now if I wanted to, which I think I, I can do, I want to look at this back side and I want to determine where that one is going. So if this one is sewn here, I want to give myself enough ease so this edge will be like that. Okay. So, now, I can find this and separate this one also in the same way. There we go. See how it's separating again? I'm going to push this one back down onto the zipper. And I'm going to hold this in place and pull this off. And then I'm just going to press this fabric down. So I'll seam here first. So let's go over to the sewing machine. Well, I actually, I'll seam here, and then I'll seam here. But it's all sitting in place. Let's just check our zipper to make sure it closes. This is a good time to check it. There it is, looks good. Now, because these I want to have uh, facing the outside, so I'm going to just align the zigzag stitching there with the zigzag stitching here. And stitch back and forth across the length of this. I'm first starting at the bottom edge and I'm stitching up to the top with a straight stitch. Now I want to make sure it's nice and secure. And then here's the third place where I wanted to put a pocket. I close my pocket on my cell phone. Pin these together here because I'm going to be tapering it from this point but I don't want to catch that flap because it'll pull on me. So I'm, I'm tapering it down to the side, and each side has extra ease. And when I get to the top of my pocket, I can feel it. I'm going to tape, start tapering over to the zipper. So that is secure. So I can cut this little extra slack out of here. I don't really need it anymore. This little extra fabric. Because that, after all, is tied down nicely. Now, one of the things that I like to do 
when I'm doing a lining is I like to taper those corners. Take out that extra bulk in the corners. And now we can, I zigzag this edge already because I don't want it to fray or anything and I want it to be well supported. And I'm going to come down and zigzag one. I'm going to come down and zigzag along this edge and along the bottom so it's not spraying on the inside. And now, do you see how I've trimmed it so that it's still a little bit, about an inch bigger than on the sides and about an inch deeper. But I have all this reinforced lining. So I'm going to insert this in here. Oh yeah, see how nice that's gonna fit? This gets tucked into that corner, like so. And this just gets lined up here. And I'll pin it into place. Because the only thing left is the hand stitching. Then this one just comes up and gets turned under neatly so that I have a little edging of this crochet stitches. You can use it as a clutch or you can use it as for the shoulder strap. I hope you enjoyed watching how to line a knit or crochet purse. Please take a moment to subscribe and ring the bell to receive notifications of upcoming videos. Happy knitting and crocheting!